Hey guys, um, it's a beautiful day. I think spring might finally be here after months of freezing temperatures and rain. Um, we're all outside enjoying this nice weather and I thought it would be great if we could get some work done on the boulder shelter. Um, it's been a while since we've really worked on it. We've been busy with other projects, but I'm having a hard time rallying the troops Everybody's busy um, playing with the flint and steel and making char cloth and burning bowls. But I need some help bundling the grass. Um, will you help me cut the grass? Never! See what I mean? Um, so hopefully I can get everybody on board and we can make some progress on this boulder shelter. You ready to go get some bundles of grass? All right, let's go. He's charging his solar panels. All right, so I got one small bundle of grass. I'm headed back to the shelter. Hopefully I can get someone to um, bundle grass with me and I'll show you what we have going on back here. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> well, what are we doing? We're doing our me. we're doing our char cloth experiments with with the oh pith that God. we gathered. Okay. Some locust and maple pieces that Lyric just made. Okay. Well, let's see. We've done it with cotton a bunch, but look at that teeny little piece. Are you serious? Are you gonna try it like that? Yes. Try a bigger chunk because you're going to be able to hit it more. It's, a, it's okay, we got lots. I like that first way you did it with the grass chunk. Wrap around. Yeah. That was slick. Oh, there we go. It's burning? Yeah, it's burning. Look, it is burning. Wow. I'm trying to pick it up. Nice. Damn. Look at that. Oh, he's going to. Yeah, that seemed like that. Uh, it definitely holds an ember. It gets bigger quick. Look at that. Don't burn yourself up. All right, pitch it, pitch it. Don't let it burn you. Be careful. It's almost nice. there. So yeah, that worked really well. That was uh, that was good. And just so you know what pith is, we got a little. Look at this piece that I set in. This is the old piece of maple here, and it's uh. It's pretty much half rotten, but we dried it, and so this is what uh, one of the sources that we used, and he just broke it into chunks, and that worked worked really well. Nice. So I do like that. So you really don't have to carry cotton cloth if you if you know where to find other sources. You don't have to worry about ripping up your shirt or something to make. Uh, char cloth for flint and steel you can you can find the right wood materials and make it happen today we're going to be making char cloth out of pithy wood uh, maple and locust um we've made this we've made uh, char cloth out of cotton before and it turned out very well so you're going to start with breaking up the pieces like so Then you're gonna put them in a little tin. This used to be an Altoids tin before uh, we made the cotton cloth lid. So you're gonna put the lid on it, make sure it's on tight. Then you're gonna put it in the coals of the fire and leave it there for a few minutes. You took the coals off? Is it burning, glowing orange? Yeah, it's burning. Is it really? Sweet. Here, well, let me uh, let me ease on over there. Nice. 
Okay. Let's see you bust that knife out and try and scrape Ooh. that one. That's, it's got a real good glow. Yeah. Be careful, I don't get, I wouldn't try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can stick the point in, but just watch that other hand. Jam the tip in there, like, yeah, like that, and then just try and twist. It might only go, though, where it was really on fire. See, those little cracks. Hmm. It's pretty tough stuff, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's getting it, though. I need one more piece of string. Mm -hmm. Watch those little embers. Yeah. Just blow them onto the fire. Oh, my eyes. Millennial. What? You say millennial? Yes, it's millennial. Okay. Are you guys millennials? Or? Blow those, get, no. dump them onto the fire. No, I think you're too yeah. young to be millennial. Yeah, we are. That's good. I don't think you guys are millennials. I do. Watching you lay around. You're sleeping, relaxing. You can take a nap. You got the thermo rest and everything. You're ready to go. Yeah, but I don't have a pillow. Oh, poor guy. I can still sleep. It just wouldn't be as comfortable. How about a rock? You could use a cedar bowl as your pillow. Yeah, there's plenty of cedar bowls in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that idea? It's um, not quite what you had in mind. How about you just double fold the end of that thermorest up? I'll just like this. See how that goes? Nice, nice. Okay, there, now we're talking. Oh, he's got it. Did you hear that okay. side? That's perfect. Try that. That's, probably, that's like an air pillow. Oh. That makes me want Better than a cedar bowl. <laughs> I'm sure it is. That cedar bowl wants to snuggle with you. The sun's coming down in your face. I don't care. Just charge up your panels. Good night, son. I love you. I'm not sleeping. You're not? Yet. I'll have a nice nap, son. You're gonna keep me awake. I love I'm you. Go I'm not gonna keep you awake. You can... Stop talking to me. Oh. I love you. Good night. I mean, good nap. Seriously? Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing. That's good, Lear. Not too big. Huh? She is recording. It's hard to sleep when someone's watching you, isn't it? Yes, I that know. That freaks me out every time. And that's why I'm asking her if she's Oh, she's, not, she's checking her weather. Then why is it she pointing the things straight Well, the glare is making it difficult for her to takes, see that angle. And still, what takes so long to check the weather? Well, her eyes aren't that good. She couldn't even find the pruners this morning. She was looking right at them. I was like, what? A, she might need glasses.